<laughs> the almighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla fight against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world, challenging their very existence and our own. All right, so we're not going to discuss the tremendous emotional and human story that was contained within Godzilla Minus One. Here, with Godzilla X Kong, the new empire, the main question that really needs to be addressed is whether or not we get a satisfying amount of kaiju carnage. Now, if you've seen any of the trailers or even just some of the images, you can see that Godzilla has gone from blue with his atomic breath to pink. And yeah, there is a reason and rationale behind this. We also find out what that is. Also, Kong is sporting an infinity gauntlet. And again, this gets both reasoning and rationale and why and how he's wearing it. Now, this really should be called Kong with a small amount of Godzilla, the new empire. Because in comparison with the amount of screen time that Kong gets, Godzilla just really a cameo. Now, I am happy to say that there are a bunch of biggie on biggie battles. And one in particular, it made me laugh out loud with the weapon of choice that Kong uses. It was a little shocking, still really funny though. And this is also a good way to then help set up the main antagonist while also introducing us to the new environments that we're going to be exploring. And when the Titans or giant apes fight, there's also a lot of physical action that's taking place, plus a ton of roaring. <laughs> These are exciting, full of fast and brutal movements, and the action isn't so blurred consistently that we can't get a glimpse of what's going on. There are some moments when the graphics get going just a bit too quickly, making everything more of a blur, but on the whole, we can see all of the punches land clearly. Now, one thing that I did find odd, especially when battles were going on, was that a lot of the time, there wasn't anything normal size that could establish scale. I mean, sure, some of the monsters are bigger than the others, but if they're also standing next to maybe a massively tall tree or mountain, and everything else around it is also tall, it becomes difficult to tell if the monsters are huge or if the trees and mountains are small. I mean, this doesn't happen all the time, and some sequences bring in objects that we're used to seeing that help establish scale. But through a good portion, when Kong is battling some of his foes, they don't look massive next to each other. Now, for the human element of the story, it's just sort of okay. I mean, in the movies within this franchise, the people's story, it has never been really the main focus, or at least the element that garnered the most depth. I mean, the actors we follow are Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, Dan Stevens, and Kaylee Hoddle. And they do bring both heart and humor to the story. And thankfully, they're also likable enough to feel concerned for their outcome, which does help to instill some minor tension. Also, though, with that said, because the monsters are all fighting amongst themselves, the humans, they're not in too much of harm's way. <laughs> well, I mean, except for all the unfortunate souls on land where Godzilla or Kong decide to battle some things out. And then for large cities, the people, I mean, they just don't stand a chance. There is indiscriminate pummeling of anything and everything, leaving decimation in the wake of a battle. Now, something I also thought that was a little odd is that the explanation for what is going on and why the monsters are all hot and bothered, it doesn't come until about an hour into the movie. So we're being taken along a story that sometimes features fights, but we don't have any clue as to where the narrative is taking us. Now, I don't need or want all of the answers up front, but once I got the info on the arc, I did become more invested because I was now assured that the story at least had a goal in mind. I mean, at the moment, it was still up in the air if the goal would be achieved, but at least they had direction. And I think the lore, it's decent, creating a worthy reason for why the events are occurring. The progression from there, I mean, it does feel more rushed thanks to being more than halfway through the story already, but this is also when the majority of the carnage begins to take place. Now, something I think deserves a huge round of applause is during the first time we see Godzilla in the movie, there are more than a few times that the visuals looked like we were watching one of the older classic films, both in the coloring of Godzilla and the texturing. There were spots that felt like it was a rubberized suit. Now, this wasn't carried out every time later in the film, but in that first sequence, it was awesome and the right way to give a nod to the creature's origins. And since there's been the Apple Monarch series, we've seen a few new kaiju. Now, I would have loved to have seen even more throughout this movie. We do get a couple, and they are fun, and they're certainly unique. But because I think this is more Kong story than Godzilla's, it does make sense that the kaiju roaming Earth's surface would be minimalized in favor of giant apes. So overall, this delivered in the ways that I was hoping for. I wanted big fights with lots of action, and we get that. 
A lot of the melees are created with clearly visible imagery, with the only drawback to some of the battles being that they lacked relatable scale, so the magnitude of these monsters could wow us. The human element still retains a backseat within the narrative, but what we do get is funny, heartfelt, and full of charisma. And while the story hides the crux of the plot for more than half the story, there's still enough carnage to maintain excitement, even if we don't know the point. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and then an absolutely massive amount of violence. I give Godzilla X Kong The New Empire three and a half out of five couches. All right, so question. If Kong's title is King, you know, as in King Kong, does that make the other's title God? <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.